The menu's just as big. Let's get dinner up. Seated rhymes with pastrami and corned beef. The best Reuben I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Not just the sandwiches, but the bakery is awesome. The wine's the really the strong rugula. now. The rugula are delicious. Great choice. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's so good. This is a one-stop shop. These are making over 200 your recipe items here from scratch. Like Romanian steak with mushrooms and onions. It's like a Raised lamb shanks. Delicious. And this classic. The stuffed cabbage is outstanding. Stuffed with beef and rice. And Getting really close. I see the cast of characters are out here. Focus out here. here. I'll focus on that Thanksgiving. Like that. that looks like they're almost caramelized. Yeah, they are. Need this in here? Right about there. Well, it's right there. I'm advancing the contrast zone. This picture looks pretty darn good. I use the outer leaves to line the bottom of the pan so it doesn't burn when we cook it. Lay a little base down. Now what's cabbage sauce? Tomato puree. So what we're going to do Celery, later is, uh, oh, just that focus right there. Lemon juice, two fresh lemons. Make I wish it would hold still for a second so I can really get on it. All right, so what we do now is we get a leaf. Right about there. Over. This over. Over. Cut them. So I'll be getting their data or stood still on this thing a little bit and really enjoying it. Cabbage. It looks pretty good. That's the contrast. Turn it down. It also is just basically the AGC. Back off. There you go. I've got really good linearity now. It doesn't have any of those uh, in that ring that was there with the without the resistor in place. I'm tempted to try that uh, Lumina CRT I picked up at the slot meet just to see how it looks. But oh yeah, there's a good test. Uh, I should just put a test pattern on it, but. Sometimes I get in a hurry as well watch the TV. I can see a little bit of retrace in there. Lots of laughs, fun tips, I and adjust food. the contrast. Cheers to you and all the great recipes. Not, no one too much. Brought to you by Corbell California Champagne. Toast light. I don't think I don't think this one has any um doesn't have the capacitor resistor network. For the vertical pulse to kill the retrace, like some sets do. I'll have to take a look at the schematic. That's a pretty easy mod to put. The very early TVs I noticed didn't have it, and every TV can benefit from it. Uh, you just have to get the um, the timing right because if you if you, if you what you're looking for is a fairly sharp. I try to draw on the screen here, but it's a sharp peak during the retrace, quick drop off. You want that quick drop off because otherwise what happens is the screen will get kind of darkish up at the top if you make it too long. So you can see the retrace lines kind of pop in there on these low contrast pictures. If I turn the contrast up, they'll go away. Introducing the revolutionary Mayday button. A lot of that has to do with prot with the uh, programming because I never seem to have issues when I'm watching old black and white TV shows where the lighting and everything was done to avoid these low co uh, contrast images. Anyway, there's the Admiral. Looking pretty good. I just got to get that uh, resistor uh, fixed permanently. And we should be good to go. To get the width right, I just had to go in there and adjust the CRT around a little bit. Adjust the drive a little bit. Uh, other than that, it was rel relatively easy to set up. I'll get some better programming on it later when I get it all buttoned up. There you go. God, it was great without that, having to fight the bright lights. I'll give everyone with TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. For the biggest meal of the year, Food Network is once again putting on its biggest show. 
It's really got good linearity, so I'm happy about that now. That was the biggest problem, and the, the antenna bound made all the difference in the world. Because it was uh, very sensitive to just movement around the room, didn't have the antenna hooked up to the front. Let's see if I can get in close, it doesn't really focus well that close up. It might be a little bit, yeah, it's a little squashed down. I could probably increase the vertical size a little bit. I'll play with that with the uh, camera off here in a few minutes. More layer.